Welcome to my GE Drip Coffee Maker Review. Why do I need this? Well, my existing Hamilton Beach coffee maker, which we've only had for about nine months, has completely given up the ghost. You can turn the power on, but nothing happens within the machine. So whilst it's got power to it, it's completely dead. These are relatively cheap, simply not worth getting repaired. So we dashed the Best Buy this afternoon and picked up this GE coffee maker. So what do we get for our money? Well, a smidgen under $100. We shall see. Our instruction manual, our product registration for the warranty. We have one very well packed and very nice looking stainless steel coffee machine. Now, what features does it have? Well, there is absolutely no information on the outside of the box and purchasing this under COVID, very little information on it in the store. Nobody ran to help, but we thought it looked quite good for the price. We got a built-in 12 cup water reservoir on there. That differs considerably from our Hamilton Beach one, which had a removable water reservoir at the back, which was quite a neat feature to have on there, but not a showstopper. Well, I have to say, it's got a very solid feel to this. Doesn't particularly feel cheap or plasticky in any way. Anyway, time to plug it in, power it up, but I'm gonna read the instruction manual and find out exactly what all these buttons do. And if anybody wondered what I meant by a separate water reservoir, that is the one that, come with our, that came with our existing Hamilton Beach coffee maker. For instance, I'm gonna fill the jug with water and use that to fill the reservoir here. The one thing I would say is the lid doesn't wanna come off straight away. You need to twist it and it comes loose there to fill it up with. Well, adding the water in, you can keep a check on the level on the side there. And filling the jug has taken us up to about 11 cups. Now to make coffee, it is supplied with one of these washable filters on here. The plastic basket removes completely because occasionally the coffee can overflow from this, runs down into here and blocks the filter up and you get coffee granules coming through into your pot. So like most of us, I will be using a coffee filter in there as well. It doesn't say on the packaging what size filter it, but that's a number four, four inch filter. Time to get some coffee in, read the manual, see what features we got. Well, the instruction manual gets you straight down to the point. Using the coffee machine like this, it's not particularly hard. Clock buttons on the left, hour and the minute on here. So to set the clock, you need to hold the button down until it starts flashing, and then you can scan through the hours. So it is coming up on pretty much six o'clock on that, minutes. Now will it increase rapidly if I hold it down? Yes, it will. So if you want it to scan up rapidly, just carry on holding the minute button down. 6 p.m. I assume we just leave it now and when it stops flashing after a few seconds, it's set. After about five or 10 seconds, stop flashing and the time is set. Now as I say, these coffee makers are not rocket science. The other button here marks brew or cancel, should be fairly self-explanatory and we're gonna put that to the test in a minute. Now I've got my coffee in there. Just one other thing here, you've got a bold button and an auto brew button as well. Quickly go over, setting the auto brew function. To do that, it says hold the button down auto brew on showing at 1 a.m there so we can get it to come through so my wife works up at 5 30 in the morning to start work so setting it to 5 30 then says press auto brew again to set it so auto brew is now set for 5 30 a.m now i'm doing that for demonstration purposes don't actually want it to come on at 5 30 a.m so i'm going to press auto brew again and that turns it off. Auto brew is no longer showing at the top on there. Well, the bold button, it's gonna make stronger coffee. Simple as that, it has no other settings other than you press this, the bold light comes on on there. If you now hit brew, it will make a pot of stronger coffee. How much stronger? Not quite sure. In terms of its overall quality, I am loving the stainless steel finish of it. It feels quite solid. You can move it around on the side, but it's not gonna vibrate or get knocked around easily on there. At the same time, it's not one of those that's stuck to the counter that you can't move. Um, it's a decent size weight, as opposed to being too heavy, too light. I would say it's about spot on. So I think it is time I made some coffee. Well, it's now starting to brew. I was worried because for the first few seconds I, after I hit the button, unlike a lot of coffee machines, it didn't start instantly. And I was thinking nothing had happened, nothing was happening with it. But I can now hear it beginning to brew the coffee and I'm ready to begin to spit through. So back in a minute when it's finished brewing. Now my coffee took about five minutes to brew a full pot on there. While it was brewing, I was actually thinking, wonder how long the pot stays warm for after it's finished brewing. Had to look in the manual and it's on for a fixed two hours. You can't set it using any function on here like you can with some coffee machines. The Hamilton Beach one could actually set the time on there. So this stays on for a fixed two hours. Doesn't have any indicator showing that it's on or off. I am assuming that this light possibly goes out 
after two hours, but we will only know in two hours and one minute's time. Speaking of that brew button, it has got a built-in cleaning function. And after approximately 80 pots of coffee, which we'll probably get through in a week at the rate we're going at in a minute, uh, it will show as a cleaning icon will show up on the display on here. And that will stay on there until you hold, you fill the coffee maker with water, hold the brew button down for three seconds, and that will then enter cleaning mode. And at that point, obviously you don't want any coffee or paper in there. You just want water in there. Let the machine do its thing. And then the cleaning icon will disappear. But overall at five minutes for a full pot of coffee, that G coffee maker didn't do too badly to my mind. Liking the design of it, like the stainless steel throughout, that was gonna keep it nice and clean. It's a good weight to the machines. Doesn't feel like it's gonna get moved around on the side as I showed earlier on there. So all in all, it will last for a good long time. Hopefully longer, longer than nine months by Hamilton Beach coffee maker did. Anyway, I hope I've explained the functions of the GE coffee maker. Any comments or questions you may have, far away in the comment section below the video. Anyway, hope you enjoyed my review of the GE Drip Coffee Maker. If you did, then don't forget to like, share and subscribe.